Hey everybody and welcome to our um welcome back. I'm Ted, your host, and this is a, uh, going to be a fast back video on the ways in which Franklin Roosevelt sought to overcome the Great Depression. Um, now, as soon as he took office, Roosevelt really hit the ground running. Uh, within his first 100 days, um, well, really within his within um, his first week of taking the presidency, he called Congress into a special session and had them declare a banking holiday in which they closed the federal banks, which uh, gave what well, not, not just federal banks but all banks in the republic, uh, so that uh, federal lawmakers and uh, chief banking uh, chief chief banking uh, financiers could come together on a uh, course of action to to help forestall the uh, the endemic uh, failing of, of, of banks throughout the republic um, Roosevelt was was successful um, the uh, the, uh, the the federal legislators and uh, the banking financiers came together they they uh, got an act passed, and the act really passed Congress unread, un unreally uh, understood by the by the lawmakers, who were just eager to have something to uh, to say they got done so fast, so quick. Um, Roosevelt, uh, from from then, Roosevelt and Congress embarked on the the drafting and the creating of. 15 new legislative acts all within the first 100 days it sort of set this this benchmark this precedent for all successive administrations to have major accomplishments major legislative or policy accomplishments already on the books within the first 100 days of their administration um and all just about all uh with the exception of one have have met that criteria within the first 100 days they've set um they set their sights on and they have uh um achieved major legislative ma major legislative pieces now the legislative pieces that franklin roosevelt pushed for the national industrial recovery act the uh agricultural adjustment act and so forth they all aimed towards protecting heavy industry um industrial workers and also agriculture farm laborers farm workers and farmers um by by setting codes and by enacting measures that will protect prices for commodities and goods and, and wages, um, two of the major, uh, two of the main uh, takeaways from from those who act with that, farmers were guaranteed uh, a high wage for their for the agricultural crops, and industrial workers were guaranteed to be kept at their wage level. Um, you really can't underestimate that. Uh, but but going further and beyond that, Franklin Roosevelt sought to. Uh, create safeguards that have not been existing for any uh industry um with uh what with the success of those first two acts franklin roosevelt sought to um ensure that um that banking and financing uh would be addressed um the fdic the federal deposit insurance corporation um was created to ensure that bank deposits um, would, would, would be uh, federally protected at least to a certain numerical amount. Uh, the bank deposits would be protected had the measure of reassuring the, um, the, the populace that, that it was safe to invest, that it was safe to put their money into the banks. Um, the Federal Housing Administration Bank was established to ensure that Americans could get access to home loans. This was done to forestall the, um, the seizure, uh, the, the forfeiting on mortgages from that, Ameri that many Americans had uh, have, have found themselves faced with had they um, had they lost their jobs and lost access to income. The SEC, the Security and Exchange Commission, was uh, created to regulate trading on the stock market. Uh, the Glass-Steagall Act was another um, legislative act that was uh, that was um, created to regulate banking. There was a great fear of banking, and this really harkens back to the old. Uh, um, Madisonian uh, John Caroline of Taylor arguments against banking um, and against bankers has uh, has swindlers. There was um, another protective oversight um, measure to uh, to ensure that the banks would behave properly. Um, and one of the things that they didn't want the banks doing was investing in the stock markets or really fueling any other sort of economic speculation. And those two things are directly addressed by the Glass Steagall Act. Um, the uh, FCC, the Federal um, Communications uh, 
commission was created and it was created to regulate the new phenomenons of the radio um, along with uh, the dying phenomenon of the telegraph. Um, but the radio had to be regulated now and that's how the, regu the radio is still regulated by the FCC. Um, Civil Aeronautics Board was uh, created to regulate the, the burgeoning aircraft, the, the airplane industry, airfares were now going to be regulated by federal oversight as well. Um, the Interstate Commerce Commission, which, which was um, created to regulate railroads, um, now began to regulate trucking. Um, so you had all these uh, sort of um, supervisory um, committees and boards, uh, agencies really, created, or in the case of the, um, the ICC, um, expanded. Um, they, their purview was expanded to uh, sort of meet this new burgeoning threat. Uh, and that, that pretty much wraps up uh, the fast fact. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was entertaining and uh, um, helpful, um, insightful. Uh, as always, hit like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you guys thought about it. And I'll see you guys next time for another fast fact.